This is calculator question number 13 from the April 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a paragraph describing Sheila's exercise routine and they ask us to solve an equation for t. In this case, since they're just asking for the value of t, we don't have to pay much attention to the context. We're just doing algebra. And since this is a calculator question, I'm going to do my algebra on the calculator. Anytime you have an equation with only one variable, if you put the left side, 7t plus 3 times this quantity, in y1, and the right side, 4, in y2, I'm going to use the standard window because all of my answer choices for t, which I'm going to put in as x, are between negative 10 and 10, and my constant on the right is 4, which is also between negative 10 and 10. Everything's in my standard window. And when I hit graph, my graph looks something like this. I have y equals 4, and then I have a line something like this for my left-hand side, 7x plus 3 times 13 fifteenths minus x. And if I find the point of intersection, intersection seven tr second trace, choice 5 is intersect, hit enter three times, you don't have to use your cursor to move next to it, I get x equals 0 0.35, which is 7 over 20. So the correct answer would be b. One nice thing with the calculator is the careless errors you make on the calculator tend to be hitting the wrong key, and that's unlikely to match any of your answer choices, so this is a safe approach. Also, the calculator doesn't use much mental energy, so you're not tiring yourself out, and you've got that energy for the questions that have to be done by hand. And the calculator is pretty fast, as you saw. But let's do it by hand because I am a math person. 7t plus 3 times 13 over 15 minus t equals 4. Let's distribute the 3 to both terms in the parentheses. 7t plus 3 times 13 over 15 is 13 over 5, because 3 over 15 is 1 over 5 minus 3t equals 4. Let's multiply both sides by 5 just to get rid of the fraction because a lot of us make careless errors with fractions. So that's 5 times 7t is 35t. 5 times 13 over 5 is 13. 5 times negative 3t is negative 15t. And on the right, 4 times 5 is 20. 35t minus 15t is 20t. If I subtract 13 from both sides, I get 20t equals 7. Dividing by 20, t equals 7 over 20, which is the answer choice I found on the calculator. This is more algebraic, which makes you feel like you're making your math teacher happy. But the calculator was faster, which makes the Scantron happy. Either way, you should be able to solve multi-step equations like this one. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.